It's the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion for Monday, the 30th of August. I'm Michael Groff. Partly sunny with widely scattered showers and thunderstorms around today, but moisture increases thereafter with the threat of heavy rain and flash flooding tomorrow and Wednesday. And then we'll dry out a bit by Thursday and especially Friday. But temperatures this week after today will be well below average with that threat of rain and increased moisture around. What about the weather for the Labor Day holiday weekend? And of course, we'll try to figure out those uncertainties regarding where, when, and how much precipitation there will actually be. All right, let's talk about it first. Yesterday, 108 degrees was the afternoon high. 87 was the low. The normal high, 104. The normal low, 83. And taking a look outside now at 7.15 a.m., partly sunny sky out there. 88 degrees at Sky Harbor. Dew point at 57, relative humidity 36%. The wind from the east at 10 miles per hour, and the barometer is steady. The upper air look across the country, the big features on the board. We've got Ida, still a tropical storm, moving into Mississippi. And we've got the remnants of Nora down there in mainland Mexico. High pressure sitting here across the southwest, and that should help to draw some of that moisture on northward over the next couple of days. And a developing trough to the west will add further instability for showers and storms for the middle part of this week. Checking out the watch warning map. Of course, it's still a mess in the southeast. We've got tropical storm warnings across Mississippi, a tornado watch for southern Mississippi, Alabama, and the western Florida panhandle, a number of flash flood watches and warnings still ongoing. And on top of everything else, the power is out in a number of places. The entire city of New Orleans is without power. That will probably be the case for days or maybe as much as several weeks in some spots. And much of southeast Louisiana has scattered uh, power outages as well as uh, portions of Mississippi. And that will continue for some time as well. Now, out here in the southwest in Arizona, the entire state is under a flash flood watch. And this is from 11 a.m. tomorrow until 5 a.m. Thursday as deeper monsoon moisture and the remnants of Nora come up our direction. And we'll talk about that in more detail in just a moment. The convective outlook for today, that risk of severe storms along and east of that circulation center of Ida, that possibility for some isolated tornadoes over much of Mississippi, Alabama, the Florida Panhandle, maybe even into parts of Georgia and Tennessee. Also a risk of severe storms over the high plains here in Arizona. We're in the green, scattered thunderstorms possible this afternoon and tonight. And while we don't expect any organized severe weather, any one storm can always become severe during the monsoon. Now, let's take a look at the tropics. In the Atlantic, we still have Tropical Depression number 10. That may become a tropical storm over the next couple of days, but that is no threat to the United States. We have a wave coming off the African coast, a 60% chance that develops in the next two days, an 80% chance over the next five days. Obviously, we have to watch that. It is Cape Verde season after all. And then in the Southwest Caribbean, there's a possibility of a disturbance developing into a tropical system later this week. And that was the region where Ida originated from, so we have to be very vigilant on any system that develops there. Speaking of Ida, here's the satellite presentation over the last 20 hours, and you could see just the monster of a storm that came ashore uh, down there in southeast Louisiana, passing between New Orleans and Baton Rouge. And now it has weakened quite substantially, now down to a tropical storm status with top winds at 40 miles per hour, but still a threat to produce very heavy rain, a few gusty winds, and those isolated tornadoes. Meanwhile, on our side of the world, Nora is no more. It is just a remnant low. It has moved a little bit further inland than anticipated over mainland Mexico, and so it is winding down, but that moisture will be getting caught up in our monsoon flow moving up towards southern Arizona over the next couple of days. And here's a look at the precipitation forecast from the WPC. This is valid through next Monday morning. Rain amounts in Phoenix between about an inch to an inch and a half, with two to four inch totals possible over southeast Arizona, some of those favored upslope areas as well, as that is where the deeper core of that moisture will be found. But we could still get some significant rain here in Phoenix. We'll just have to see. There's still some uncertainty. We'll try to figure out what's going on with it as we dive into modeling. Here we go. This is the GFS. It's the 06Z run valid at two o'clock this afternoon. High pressure here over the southwest, sort of a southerly to southeasterly flow. A trough is trying to develop to the west of us, and that will help to pull more of Nora's moisture northward as well. So down at the surface today, partly cloudy sky, slight chance of an afternoon shower or storm here in Phoenix. 
And one more day up in the triple digits. Highs this afternoon, 102 to 106. And then storms become a bit more scattered as we go toward the evening hours. With partly cloudy sky tonight, we should see lows mostly in the upper 70s to mid 80s. And then tomorrow, partly cloudy in the morning with a small chance of rain. Then scattered to numerous showers and thunderstorms in the afternoon with more clouds coming in. A trough developing to the west, some added jet dynamics in the mix. So the possibility of a few strong storms comes in late in the day tomorrow as well. And with more clouds and better rain chances, temperatures should be trending down as well. We'll go, we'll go with highs 95 to 100. So, yeah, we could, I guess, have another day with the triple digits tomorrow, but that looks a little less likely. Then the main band of precipitation should start to develop tomorrow evening across southern and eastern Arizona. And Phoenix still looks to be in this, although I would expect the heaviest rain is probably going to be located just a little bit to the south and east of us, down toward parts of Pima and Santa Cruz counties and points to the east from there. So maybe the Tucson area, down toward Nogales, Douglas, Bisbee, Sierra Vista, probably seeing somewhat heavier rain. But still, numerous showers and thunderstorms on Tuesday night, and then that'll continue in to at least the first half of the day on Wednesday could see those periods of rain and they may be heavy at times and that's why we have that flash flood watch in effect. And so Wednesday looks like kind of a mostly cloudy day with those off and on showers and storms, especially in the morning and high temperatures on Wednesday only in the 80s to near 90s. So again, we'll be at least 15, maybe as much as 20 degrees below average in some spots on Wednesday. Now, by Thursday, we should see a fairly rapid drying of the air mass, especially over the western and central portions of the state. I would still expect to see some degree of shower and storm activity, even here in the lower deserts, at least for the first part of the day on Thursday, and then we'll really start to dry it out a bit. And high temperatures won't recover all that much. We'll be right around 90, maybe the low 90s. On Friday, partly cloudy here in Phoenix, widely scattered showers and storms over the eastern third of the state, they should stay away from us. High temperatures right around the mid-90s. Then over the weekend, the GFS continues to hint that the monsoon moisture will return with a better southeasterly flow coming back in. So we'll put at least a slight chance of showers and storms in for both Saturday and Sunday. And that means if you're planning to head up north or into the high country for the Labor Day weekend, be prepared for at least that chance of midday to late afternoon showers and storms. High temperatures here in Phoenix, though, should still stay just shy of that 100 degree mark, probably the mid or upper 90s, and humidity levels will remain elevated. All right, here's a week from today. This is Monday, the 6th of September. It's Labor Day. And if this is correct, yes, still a chance of afternoon and evening showers and storms in the forecast. And going out 10 days. This is Wednesday, the 8th of September. And guess what? The GFS continues with monsoon moisture around, so scattered afternoon and evening showers and storms, high temperatures staying just a little bit below average if this works out. As we take a look at rainfall for the Phoenix area coming off of the European Ensemble over the next couple of weeks, well, the mean is right around an inch and a quarter. That seems reasonable. And temperatures off the national blend of models. Maybe after today we're done with the triple digits for the rest of the week and the weekend. But don't get any wild ideas. This is only the beginning of September. We will have more 100-degree days before it's all said and done. And that's going to do it for the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion for today. My next video back here tomorrow morning. If you enjoy these videos, be sure to subscribe, like, share, and click that notification bell so that whenever a brand new video is posted, you'll get the notice. Your comments, questions, and suggestions always encouraged as well. Thank you so much for watching. Really do appreciate it. You guys be safe, stay cool, stay hydrated out there. Watch your kids around the swimming pool and have yourselves a fantastic Monday.